Lionel, the burning question for everyone is, was the 115th Annual Cup Match Classic your last? Um, I haven't know yet myself. Um, I'm still giving it a train of thought. Obviously, um, you want to finish up at home. But, um, um, you know, St. George is going through a period now where, you know, they're picking a lot of youngsters and um, they need a little experience at the moment. So I'm just giving it a little thought and we'll see what, what uh, direction the club's going to take. Uh, you know, but at this moment, I haven't made up my mind exactly. Because once I do, I, I'm going to make sure that that's the end. So I'm still thinking about it. This cup match was a bit challenging uh, with a young team um, getting bowed out cheaply. But uh, another game saving performance between you and Rodney. But uh, making sure that if this was going to be a last, it wasn't going to be a losing one. How desperate were you to make sure you stayed at the wicket and, and kept company there as well? Um, it's through the experience, you know what I mean? Throughout the years, I had to play a lot of critical innings, especially like the last 10 years with like Clay and Charlie and, you know, retiring and stuff. I'm being a senior cat at the uh, wicket. So um, it didn't matter if it was my last or whatever. It was just a game situation. I take every single game as it, as it comes. And, you know, the situation called for me just to walk it on. Um, like you said, we have a young team. And um, some said had us in the first morning on a very damp wicket ball seeming about so it was always going to be a struggle even for an experienced player and um, then you know they got the best out of the wicket it dried out and then it started deteriorating again so it was always going to be challenging uh, to lose the toss but you know Rodney is an experienced player I think the first time that we've been to the wicket so we just took one ball at a time and we knew we couldn't win the game at the time so it became pretty easy once you know the experience and stuff we've been through it before became quite easy to actually to, to, to stay to the wicket. How special is it that now you're the third highest run score in cup match and you've done it at St. George's? Oh, wow, yeah. Um, when I first started, it isn't something that you think about. Um, when I first started, I was betting like number eight. You know, we had uh, Randall, uh, Daxter, Arnold, Charlie, Noel, Cleavy, you know, Graham Fox, like the list goes on. So when I started, I came in as a bowler. And, um, you know, I was betting number eight. And just like the last five or six years, when, when I became captain, I pushed myself up the order to seven or eight. So you didn't even picture about even uh, getting a thousand runs, you know, nevertheless, uh, we up there to be amongst, you know, like so Randall Smith, uh, uh, Gennaro Tucker, obviously, Clay Smith, you know, Lloyd James, Albert Steed. I mean, the list goes on. I mean, it's, a, it's an honor just to even be up there. Well, if it was your last, uh, it was it was very special. And thank you for your time and the effort you put in at St. George's and for cricket in general. Yeah, thank you. And, you know, it's some people I want to thank, like, you know, the fans, uh, the players that I played with throughout the years, always the opposing players. You know, it's so many people that, that make this happen, you know, the sacrifice and commitment that it takes. My family obviously have to sacrifice a lot, you know, and, um, um, you know, it's been a good journey. If it, is, if it is the end, I just hope that the game goes on. And what cup match players for Emancipation Day, you know what I mean, is, is a major thing also. So it's been lovely to be a part of it and actually play, you know, a good major role into it. And, um, you know, the game will continue with or without me. And, you know, the memories have been great. Thank you.